You teach a class about slashers, and you still walked into a dark alley. Alone. Peter, that's not funny. <sighs> no. It's not. Now I see something red. How long have we known each other? You tell me. Eight years. We met in junior high in Atlanta. Do you feel like an animal, Jason? Like me? But we have to finish the movie. Who gives a fuck about movies? It away, but it's pulling me in. Trying to pretend. Hello, Samantha. Did you miss me? You're protecting us now? Not quite. I'm going to show the world who you really are a liar and a killer. I'm going to punish you, Sam. You shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet, asshole. Don't be cute. You're gonna pay for what you did. And I'm not gonna stop until I butcher you, you and anyone who gets between us. You and Tara better watch your backs. You better watch yours. No! No! You're gonna die, you know. No, you're gonna die, Samantha. Choking on your own blood while I hack up your sister. Unless we find you first. For a mastermind, you're not very bright. Waiting for me to call, desperately hoping I'm nearby so the police can grab me. But I'm not nearby. I'm a step ahead. Be seeing you, Samantha. Hello, Gail. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. I agree. Please. I figured after all these years, you'd want an interview. Well, you figured right. So, what's your motive this time? Are you angry at the movies, or are you just trying to stay relevant? Well, I could ask you the same. Don't you know the legacy characters are disposable now? Nobody cares about last century's heroes. And why bother with me at all? Call it nostalgia. Or maybe you deserve to be punished for all that money you made off the misery of others. Maybe it's time someone made a buck reporting your death. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? And spoiler alert? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Oh, but they certainly leave a mark before they go, don't they? Richie and Amber managed to butcher Dewey, carved him up like a Christmas goose. How does it feel to lose the only man who ever loved you? You couldn't stop what happened to Dewey, just like you're not gonna be able to stop this. You missed. Sure I did. You win. I'm in the elevator heading for the ground floor. Sure you are. Maybe you did hit me. Maybe I'm wounded. Or maybe I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. You would have made a good killer, Gail. Sydney never would have made sense, and Dewey was the fan favorite, but you cracking under the pressure and turning into Ghostface would have been a great twist. Keep talking, asshole. <laughs> sure. What do you want to talk about? You never got to be the leading lady, did you? It was always all about poor sweet Sydney sucking up all the oxygen. What did that leave you to be? Sorry about your boyfriend. All those muscles didn't help much. I sure didn't. <laughs> Can you hold, please? What? Hello, Detective Bailey. I've got one question for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? What's your favorite scary movie? I'm asking because you're in one now. You're in my movie. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Stop fucking around and show yourself! Be careful what you wish for. All right, I'm a fucking police officer. How do you think this is gonna go, Sam? Who do you think they're gonna believe, huh? Probably the one who's still alive. Ah! 